Hello all, in today's video I'm back with part two of my Dollarama haul. So this is more household items. It might be a little bit boring, but I thought I would share anyways. So I don't know what's been going on with our cutlery, but it seems to disappear just like socks. So I haven't been back to Walmart since I think the end of November, beginning of December when I got that Christmas stuff. So I haven't been into any Walmart store and I haven't been to an Ikea store where I normally buy our cutlery in almost a year now. So um, when I was at Dollarama, I'm like, let me grab some new cutlery there. So I grabbed the um, like the dinner forks, the teaspoons and the tablespoons. Now these are all three pieces in each. So that's like six of each and they were $1.25 for three in each a little packet there so they say they're stainless steel so we'll give them a try now the knives there were only three knives left and the knives are single and they were dollar fifty each so i just grabbed the th last three knives that they had uh we only really use these butter knives uh for butter or margarine so that's fine so hopefully you know once things settle down i can get to ikea and get some you know a regular cutlery so my son received, uh, it's called, uh, I think, the North Pole Express, like, um, Christmas train for my dad from Christmas time. And uh, it does require two of the D-sized batteries, so I just grabbed them these. So they're $1.25 each, so I grabbed two packs so we would have them on hand. And then I had mentioned that when I got home last week, I noticed that both the light above the stove and the fridge I went out so I did grab four in total I already purposed uh, two of them so these are $1.25 each they are the 40 watt little light bulbs so in a clear one they also do come in white if you're interested in that but this for fridge stove fans so so far I've had them working and uh, they seem okay and then my son has um uh, what you call it sometimes he, his hair will get a little like knotted he does have quite um, thin hair but it's also a little bit longer we haven't taken him for a haircut since last year as well so um, I wanted to try to make my own uh, like with his conditioner and water and um, make a little spray bottle for him then when we're brushing out his hair it doesn't you know get tangled so this was a dollar 25 and it's just a little cute mini spray bottle so try to make my own like hair detangler and then since we're talking about like washroom and products like that now I know a lot of people like perfumes and body sprays for me it always irritates my skin because I do have a rare skin condition but I do like spraying the um, silk flowers with a little bit of scent just so they smell a little bit more real I guess so this was three dollars and fifty cents it is a uh, 7.9 fluid ounce bottle so this is in the scent white tea and pear and it's just a fine fragrance uh mist so i'll um try this on our flowers it does smell quite nice so and i like the design on the bottle that'd be pretty afterwards maybe putting some if you could like the little fairy lights or something and you know just on like this angle without showing the like writing side that might look nice on like a shelf somewhere <laughs> pretty bottle and then our standard is just this usually i would um before i was buying um like a two pack of paper towels for like a dollar fifty but these are a dollar twenty five for these ultra strong and absorbent snow soft kitchen roll paper towels they are 70 sheets and they are two ply so i've just been grabbing one of these each time i go in and then again for a dollar twenty five is scotty's so these are the two ply 100 tissues and um what you call it i like the box on this one because it was tulips and it was bright and colorful i'm just feeling like the spring of eyes bring on the spring so had to grab that pattern this time and then some other cleaning things i needed i was looking for shaving cream because i don't know if you know this but shaving cream if your kids accidentally color on the table or like the walls or where they're not supposed to color um especially men's shaving cream if you put it on and then scratch it with your nails it removes crayon marker really fast and easy but this time this was only a dollar so i grabbed actually two one i've already used so this is just a one pad of the mr clean magic eraser so they do clean and they do work but i prefer the shaving cream method but uh yeah just those 
And then for our laundry, because we're always doing art projects, I grabbed this, another one of these. So this is Oxyol, um Clean and Fresh Multi-Purpose Stain Remover. So you can add this to your laundry. You can also add this to like spray bottles and spray down like things around your house too. It says it uh, can cut through like uh, grease and grime. I mainly just use it for our laundry. So this was two dollars, and does this say how much is in here? Oh yeah, there it is. So it's a fourteen ounces. So just some powder oxy stuff, and then for three dollars and fifty cents, this is the bottle of Tide. This is for twenty-two loads. You do get thirty-one fluid ounces in the bottle. This lasts me a lot longer than 22 loads because I don't add very much. Also, another tip is I like to add a little bit of dish soap to my son's laundry. And dish soap cuts through any oils and greases that he might have on his clothing. So that's another tip. But you cannot add, like, a lot of dish soap because then it will cause, like, a lot of bubbles in your machine. But I do have, like, a little tabletop, like, um, not an electric washing machine, which we've been using a lot for my son's clothes. So it's better for that. But, uh... Especially if you have a really tough stain, just put a little tiny drop of dish soap on it and it helps get the stain out faster, I find. But yeah, this is my standard Tide. This one hasn't irritated my skin, so I've been sticking with this one. It just says simply clean and fresh and gets the dirt out and it is in the day break uh, fresh scent. So it smells pretty good. And then with my son, I'm constantly wiping down his hands. My kid is very much uh, a nature child. He loves picking up sticks and stones and uh, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So I'm constantly wiping him down. So these are the ones I like to carry more on the go because it's just in a small package. So these are $1.25 and these are the wet wipes. You do get 40 of the little towelettes in here. So these are perfect for on the go. And then um, I found this near the cash when I was checking out. Now, I had never heard of this Wish brand. This one says it kills 99.9% .9 of the, the uh, most common germs. It just says uh, wipes, uh, hand sanitizing, uh, cleans and moisturizes. These ones are alcohol-free, paraben-free, and I'm going to pronounce the last one wrong. So, But yeah, lemon fresh and uh, just for hands again. So... If it'll focus on there, it just says um, clean hands. So, you know, these are also good for, you know, other things too, wiping surfaces down maybe around like, you know, just quick cleanups around the washroom or for painting or something just to keep things clean. They do not have any Lysol wipes. Everything was sold out, of course, with what's going on here in Ontario. But uh, grab what you see, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, so this was a little bit of a boring part of the haul. Tomorrow's part of the video will be a little bit better. It'll be some toy items as usual and some art supplies that we needed. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.